Hello, and welcome to my shop. Or sometimes, I'm just doing something. And other times, I show you how to do something. So, let's get something started. Okay, my friends, here it is. Today, I'm working on a new design for uh, hold down brackets and to replace these uh, things I got here. I just uh, somehow don't like the way these work. Uh, and, and you see right now I have a, an ugly board across here that takes up a lot of space. Don't give you a lot of room for adjustment. What that is, that gets my board square with the bridge uh, with the Z axis. As you can see, I uh, mounted this and then I I uh, cut across the edge to make it square so I know when my work is pulled down against that, then it's perfectly uh, square across with my uh, Z axis. And then uh, that will make my uh, Y cut um, square up the board even if we get close to close to a bracket, which you can see I've got close, gotten close before. But this only gives me about a quarter inch here. And uh, that don't give you much hold down power, but it probably gives you enough. But I have a new design here, which I'm gonna show you today. We'll be going from this to my new design. But uh, this uh, was an example of what uh, I have been using. And uh, we'll see what my new design clamps are. And if you like them, I'm even gonna share the pattern with you. So uh, hold on, I'll be right back. So here's a good look at the new uh, design hold down brackets that I'm gonna show you just how they work and uh, especially work better than these little ones that we see here that uh, we often have so much trouble with. These big brackets, these new design, will also, uh, I'm gonna eliminate the use of this uh, square board here to get your, get your work uh, square with the Z axis. So let's see how that works. Be right back after I get these cleaned up and uh, we'll see how they look mounted on, a, on another project. Okay, here's the finished product. It's uh, started with a half inch plywood as shown before. Uh, it has a quarter inch bevel all the way around the edge and it's a quarter inch deep. And we have three slots. And you'll see the reason for that just in a minute. I'm gonna show you the various ways these can be used, the way I use them now all the time. And I, as I said before, I would uh, like to share uh, this uh, design with you as a uh, DFX file that you can easily carve for yourself. Now to get started, uh, I want to show you the, try to show you the purpose of, uh, of these having these three slots versus one stick with, uh, with that wide. First of all, this gives you more surface area to grip your piece. It's more important when a, uh, with the bigger pieces. Now, what you'll do is, this one particularly, this is just an eight by 10 plaque. So first, I will look at, take a look at my lineup here of these pegs. I had the, uh, with the CNC, of course, with an eighth inch uh, uh, bit, we, uh, we run the x-axis cross and put me a hole right in the middle of each waste board. And that gave me a parallel line exactly with the uh, x-axis. Now, at this particular one, you see I'd want these holes here stuck with the pegs right here and here, and you move this back against those pegs. Now that puts anything against that will be square with the bridge going across. Now we just, first of all, we'll tighten that down. That's in place where we want it. And you notice it's not gripping anything. It just gives me a thing there. But if I wanted to, if I had room, which I do on this plaque, I could also clamp down on it by, by now raising. 
since this is in place, I'll pull this back before I go into that detail. So I hold back on that. That squeezes these two right together and we'll lock this down. Now that back one becomes our square with our bridge. Now the back one is holding us square and it's holding us tight in between. And actually I did, I could do my carving right now with just these pinched in there. But uh, as, a, as a precaution to make sure it don't move, um, we'll go a little bit further. Now what I'll do now, if you decide you want to clamp this down, you could, or if you decide you wanted to, if your uh, design had a quarter inch space that wouldn't be hit, then you could raise this up and clamp that down also. But for demonstration purposes, I want to show that simply clamping these two ends together is all you need. Now there, there's a bit of pressure on that and I really can't, you can, you can barely pull that out if you wanted, but it fits in there perfectly square and it will stay put on the, on the Y axis travel. Now, uh, next I'm going to show you if you had to have it clamped down here, if you wanted to, after we've got it square, we know it's square with that. This one's all screwed down tight. This one we can loosen and we can just pop it up and slide it in a little more. Now it's in our quarter inch groove there. We can just simply tighten it down here. Now, don't tighten it down until it cracks your, uh, your plywood. It, you get down to where the plywood bends just slightly and you have enough pressure to hold anything. Now this one here, I really wouldn't have to tighten that at this point. But what I'm going to do now is uh, come up. Now in this particular piece, my design is pretty well clear on this side here, so I'm going to clamp this down. You need both sides clamped the biggest part of the time. And you notice you have two here. This one here you wouldn't need to, but um, I, I usually go ahead and tighten it down. But if you do that, then you don't need to put a block under the back to level it up. You can tighten both of these and then hold it solid. Now what I want to do is show you the various ways that you can use this one. Now what the problem is here that I have is my design is going to come in real close to this corner at one point. So when it's cutting there, I don't, uh, I don't want that. So what we do in that case, since I've got it clamped down here and clamped down here, what I want to do is just butt that right up against there. Now at times when you want a little more clearance uh, for this thing, you can also turn these over and use them like this which I do a lot of times. You can turn, turn them over. And uh, I can't think right now what it was, but it, 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 I've run into points where I did want to turn it over when I did a butt, butt clamp on it. So call this a butt clamp and call this a top clamp, top clamp. So, but on account of the design, I can't use the top clamp and this being a half inch and this half inch, I can actually butt that right up against there, which will give me a little more secure there. And then I just spin my that, uh, T screw fastener there that where it won't spin in the T track. And we just tighten that up. Now your lockdown secure. That thing is not going to move. And uh, there, there, I found times to where You'd want to, um, say if you just wanted to hold that corner, you need to hold that corner down, you had design pretty tight everywhere else, you could actually put the screw in this slot here, move it all the way down. These two slots wouldn't be holding anything. You'd have this slot out here to move down. You could actually turn this into like a single wide piece 
that would go down and clamp that corner. And you could do the same thing on the other corner. I like to keep the clearance on this corner for this reason. I'll show you. This is my uh, edge detector. And you see it's going to hit. I try that out. That's going to hit there. So what I do, I'll simply turn around, loosen this, and we will go into the We'll go into the clamp mode here. You just push in against it. And that problem is, is solved. Now you can put your part in there. It's still plenty clearance. All right. Now, now when you get ready to, uh, that's a corner edge, edge finder. And once you get ready to do that, I just hold it down and let it do its thing. Now we have all the clearance to get our edge finder going. We have this hole in here, none here and none here. So what when we can't put for the design, we can't um, we can't clamp this uh, top clamp on this because the design is getting close to the edge. So what I want to do now is since we've got our surface found here is I'm just covering, trying to cover everything is the reason we're uh, not set up right to begin with. Now what I would do, since I realized that I couldn't clamp this, I couldn't clamp this, but I have this clamp. You see you have a four inches, four and a half inches across here of surface grip, actually. That's going to hold it till the cows come home. And then right here, we're going to lift it up. We least, I think we need to be clamped at least two places. And you see what that's going to do for us here. We're almost clamped now over that whole top edge is clamped. So you have a much, uh, very good surface area, surface to surface there, which holds you down tight. And it, actually, uh, I wouldn't be afraid now to to move both of these off of here with this and this, that would probably most likely be all you need. But I always do this as a precaution. You can't move this way because this got it stopped. You can't move this way. It can't come up on account of these two. So thanks again for watching and uh, for sure I will catch you in another video. Bye-bye.